Oh, sir. Those young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe... Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Don't try anything funny, okay? We're all friends. Exactly. We just had a couple of questions we were looking to get answered. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? My partner and I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know what was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down. In exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after. Well, at least... Things showed up. The Scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. We both came over from Virginia. 
Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Watch yourself out there. This place has a lot of potential. What's Got that company? noise? <sighs> if the scorched or I'm the okay. ferals don't get you, what was that? That's well. It's go time. <sighs>
Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Because point a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Look around. You think I'm having my people piece this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got ten seconds to tell me where Crane is! Ten? Don't do it. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you- Hey! Who the hell are you? Guy? I told you it was gonna end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Not a whole hell of a lot. We only just got back here ourselves. A hundred years ago, before the bombs, this was a popular little highway between two of Appalachia's biggest cities, Morgantown up north and Charleston to the south. We set up here hoping it might relive that fate, but so far all we've gotten is trouble. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Only that they want something from Crane, but I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling, um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tact. Just give me one second. Uh, huh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh... I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it. Use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? You vault boys and girls carry yourselves different, like you matter. Plus, your pit boy was a dead giveaway, but that's beside the point. You think you can work from these schematics? Ah, huh, damn. Okay, okay, I see. New plan. We paint all the Brahmin. And then we... Duchess, 
plan's fine. I can walk them through how to build it. How's that exactly? I was hunkering down for quite some time waiting for this headless monster thing to clear off on my last ammo hunt. Ended up reading some old training materials to pass the time, and guess what? Made some tapes on it. Oh, Mort. Not the tapes. You have a better option? Not one that doesn't involve painting all my cattle. There you go, I suppose. You can talk to Mort. Of Course you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, I haven't seen her. But I have heard her. My people found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers. Though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you. So long as you're still willing to help us. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in... self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. Crazy. Now that is just crazy. They hand you vault kitties, all this fancy equipment, and then just throw you to the wolves. Well, don't you worry that smooth little face of yours. You are in good company now, because around here, we look after one another. Now what can I do for you? I did, and your eyes still work in case that's the reason you're bringing up the obvious. Look, the world's hard now. Better you learn that lesson real fast. Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. All right, listen, I got this plan. You're going to help me get rich. See? The folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give him a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken him out for a test drive. Now, there anything else you wanted to chat about? Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rads, yeah, they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Duchess lets me drink. It doesn't bother me too much about my tap. Really, about the best sort of setup a guy in my situation could ever ask for. Well, at least until the tapes take off. Allergies. Learned the hard way I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man, that's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on Doomsday. Now you see. I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet, then a whole lot less quiet, and the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it, I can hear it battering the truck, bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it, and then I unlocked the door and into the back, and then, 
bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still, beats being vaporized. I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are saying. Not sure how it happens. Why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turn, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Raw! Ser seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Some other time then.